In this video, we will cover how to create your own start holes for programming in Wire EDM. So the first thing that I did was create a sketch inside of SolidWorks, and I called that the start hole location. And then you can kind of see I drew a whole bunch of small start holes in the locations that I want them. So at this point, you can measure exactly where you want them to be and place them in the spaces that you need them to be at. So the next thing that I would do is I would cut these on the mill. So this is a step if you want to add that in, you can easily do that. So I'm going to choose my machine and I'm going to go ahead and create a milling machine. So I've selected my machine and then I'm going to go ahead and drill all of these holes. The first thing that I would want to do is set up my stock. So I'm just going to leave this as the bounding box. And then I'm going to go ahead and create that specific drill tool path. I'm not going to use extract machinable features because again, all I want to do is drill these start holes out. The rest is going to cut on the wire EDM machine. So the first thing I want to do is add in my setup. So I'm going to create my new mill setup coming in this direction. So I want the tools to come down in this direction. And then I'm going to choose OK. I'll go right ahead and add in my feature. I'm going to add in my new two and a half axis feature. So I just right clicked on the setup that I wanted in and I'm going to add in my new two and a half axis feature. This is going to be a whole feature. So I can easily select that sketch and it's going to select every single hole and I've got the size of that hole or that feature. So I'll choose the end condition. And then I'm going to choose the specific strategy that I want. So if I just want to drill only, I can choose the drill only. The drill strategy is going to give me a center drill and a drill. So depending on what, what you want to do for that specific strategy. In this case, I'm just going to use the drill only. It's selected the correct tool that I want. So this is all set up the way that I want it. It's currently doing a blind drill, so I actually want to go all the way to the opposite side. So I'm just going to flip the part over and select the bottom face. As soon as I do that, it chooses up to face for me automatically. And there's my feature. So then I'll go ahead and choose OK. And now I've got this whole group. Next thing I'm going to do is select Generate Operation Plan. And there's my drilled hole. So then I can go ahead and uh, generate the tool path. So it's going to go through and drill all of those holes. Um, if I do want to adjust where it starts and where it finishes and how it selects the next location, I can edit that tool path. I can go into my optimize tab and it's currently set on shortest path. So it's taking the shortest path to get to the next hole. I can also say how I want to start that. And you can see currently it's starting in the upper left corner. If I want to choose maybe an entity select, I can just click on one of these entities and have it select there instead. So if I preview now, it's going to start in this corner. So I'm going to leave it at that and then I can press OK. And there's my drilled holes. So the next thing I want to do is create my wire configuration. So this is a Camworks configuration. I'm going to come back into my Camworks feature tree and I'm just going to right click on configurations and I'm going to choose new configuration. So as soon as I do that, if I open this up, you'll see I have my mill inch, which was the first one. And the second one, because I'm still under mill, it's still called mill inch. We can rename these also just by clicking on them. And maybe I want to call this my wire. So then I'm going to go ahead and choose my wire machine. So there's the wire EDM. I'll select that. You'll notice all of the tabs go away. So I'm going to select the machine. If I right click on the machine now and choose select machine, this is going to give me my machine selection for the wire EDM. So I'm going to choose my Agi, the one, two, three, and then I'll choose OK. And again, my stock is going to be the same, the bounding box, because I haven't cut anything else out. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose Extract Machinable Features. Uh, before I choose Extract Machinable Features, make sure that you do select in your Camworks options which features you actually want it to find. So I don't actually want it to machine these holes out, just the uh, features for my 
wire EDM, I'm going to have it recognize these specific features that I have checked off and we'll press OK. So then I'll go ahead and extract the machinable features and it should go through and find all of those features for me. So you can kind of run through and highlight these and make sure that it's selecting the correct features that you wanted it to select. So the very last one is this punch cut. So it's going around the whole outside. I've got two open profiles here that will actually cut out those features there. So I actually don't need this one. So I can go ahead and delete that feature. So it's just in my recycling bin and I'll minimize that so that I don't see it anymore. So then I can go through and generate the operation plan as long as I'm okay with obviously the strategies that have been selected. If not, I can easily go into my parameters and select a different strategy. So I'm gonna go ahead and generate the operation plan and then I'll generate the tool pass. So there's my first contour, the second one, and then it goes through and cuts out all of these interior features. And again, you can reorder these however you want. But the next thing that I wanna show is how to actually use the start hole that I created for these features. So I'm gonna find one of these interior features that I've created the start hole for. And I'm going to right click on that tool path, choose edit definition. And I've got the option under my lead in and lead out to choose a specific point. So just under lead in, you'll see our drop down, and we've got select point. So that's what we want to select. And as soon as we choose that, you'll see this little graphic pick option. So I'm going to choose that button, and then it allows me to select that point. So I'm just going to click on the center point of that arc. Or again, if you do click on the arc itself, it will also just select the center point of that feature. So these are the coordinates that that point is at, and then I'm going to choose OK. And then if I press preview here, you'll notice that it chooses this as the start point, but then it goes straight back into the center of the feature. So we do also have another option under this lead in lead out tab at the bottom here. So this is the entry point options. So we've got perpendicular to select point and then to top edge. So if I just choose perpendicular to select point, press preview, you'll actually see it comes straight into the cut perpendicular to this selected point. So that's exactly what I want it to do. And then the last thing that I do want to set up is the actual start hole diameter that I'm working with. So I'm just going to type in the diameter that I set all of my start holes up with. And then again, I'm just going to press the OK button and I can always generate the tool path again just to refresh that tool path. 